Welcome to MDT 101. I'm going to walk you through our course real quick to get you started. When you arrive in our course on Blackboard, you'll start in the announcements section. So make sure that you take time each week to read through those announcements so that you're familiar with what's going on. Normally you would pop to the course content section next, but I'm going to take you through the other links on the left hand side of the screen. This menu does hide, so sometimes it will hide on you and it'll look like it's not there. But if you mouse over here to the left side, a little it should turn blue or gray and then you'll be able to pop it back out so that you can see uh, those links over there on the left hand side. I'm going to drop into syllabus real quick. There's a couple dates that I want to point out to you inside of the syllabus. Do take time to go through here and read through everything so that you're familiar with the policies. One item that I want to point out is the date for drops for never attending. You want to make sure that you have the content or the uh, assignments in week one completed by the 28th so that you're not dropped for never attending our course. And then finally, quit attending drops. They happen around midterm, which will um, contain weeks one, two, and three, or units one, two, and three. And those um, criteria for quit attending are listed here as well. So if you're below 30% of our total points possible, or you haven't completed any course activities for two weeks, then you would be dropped for quit attending. So there is more to it than just logging in in order to not be dropped. You do have to complete the work. Scrolling down really quick because at the bottom of the assign of the syllabus is the course schedule. You can see that Tuesdays are our due dates by the end of the day uh, or the end of the night. So make sure that you add those to your calendar and that you're staying up to date with that. I do email you through your DMAC email, so here are instructions on how to set that up. Um, and we do we do a lot of writing in this class, so you want to make sure that you have Office or um, access to Google Docs or something like that, some kind of editor other than just Notepad to uh, write your papers in. A little bit of information about me. Um, you can always reach me via email or this phone number down here at the bottom. Um, I prefer text, obviously. Uh, I won't answer a phone number that I don't recognize, but that's just like everybody else. This summer, I don't have an office location on campus. I'm just online. So if you need anything, please send me, a, send me an email and we can set something up either online or face-to-face. -face. They are actually in the process of remodeling our offices up in Ankeny. So there is literally no place for for me to hang out on campus, which is a good thing. It's nice to get away every now and then. Um, I popped into the My Grades. I skipped over course content. We're going to go into that next. I just wanted you to see that this is where you can see where everything that we'll be accomplishing over the semester is listed down here at the bottom as your total points and the percentage. Midterm and final grades will also show up down there at the bottom. Next, I'm going to go over to Tools. Uh, I just want to point out send email. You can send me an email directly through Blackboard from this link. Then I'm going to go into course content. This is where you'll um, go 98% of the time once you get into our class. All of our folders are available from day one. So this means that you can go as fast as you want in this class. You're not held back by me or by um, waiting on folders to open. Because everything is available from day one, that means I will not accept late work in this class. If you're going to be away, go on vacation, you want to make sure that you get things done early and so then you don't have to worry about it being submitted late. All these folders have mark reviewed buttons. You can use those to put little check marks next to the items so that you know where you're at as you're working through the course. Drop into unit one to begin with. We're going to start with an introduce yourself discussion board. You can click on that. I've already added mine in here. You can read mine, reply to mine, um, and then of course you can also create your own create thread and you'll be brought to a page where you can type in here and type whatever you want and add a picture in here of yourself and press submit and that will post your post to the discussion board. Heading back into our course content, you should know that in this course you will not be, you will not have to code, you will not have to create a mobile app. You should be familiar with some mobile OS environment, whether it's Windows, Android, or Apple and you're not expected to spend a penny on an app for a course. So we, there are tons of free ones. There's no excuse in this course to buy one. First up this week, we've got a syllabus quiz. Quick and easy, 15 points. You can take it multiple times so you can get a perfect score. We've got a journal on what mobile application development is. Uh, I want you to put it in your own words. Don't just copy it out there and create your journal entry. We're gonna look at some of the current mobile devices out there create a list of 10 different mobile devices and there's a couple notes here we, we don't want to focus on different generations but instead we want to look at you know different operating systems different sizes of hardware all those kinds of fun and exciting things attach that assignment to the submission area 
the wiki here where you're going to research some emerging handheld technology. If you haven't participated in a wiki before, it's very easy. The screenshot right here shows you which button you want to click, but I've already added an example one on here, and I've provided spots for you to add your emerging technology. Just edit the wiki content and add your emerging handheld technology to the list. I'll look at some of the impacts of mobile devices. And then finally, I want to know what device you're going to be using to look at these different mobile apps. So we're just going to do a simple screen grab. You'll have to Google if you don't know how to do it. And then you can email it to yourself or you can upload it directly from the Blackboard Learn app if you download that on your device and submit that for five easy points. So that's what we have going on for unit one. Again, pay close attention to these due dates because the folders will close at that time. And if you don't have anything submitted, it'll be a zero score. But you can work ahead as quickly as you want or um, just stay on pace with the course, that's fine too. If you have any questions as you go through, please reach out. And I look forward to seeing you online. Have a fantastic week.